Grazie, yes, thank Giovanni. you, Giovanni. I would just like to bring my greetings and make a short introduction to make our friends and colleagues of the various funds understand why we're all here today. Then firstly, I'd like to welcome all our foreign participants at this closing conference for this project, you post lab And then I would particularly like to greet the representatives of the associations, our counterpart associations, uh, Sokabau for Germany, Boac for Ge uh, Austria, UCF for France. And moreover, I would like to thank all the other participants of this project. The Giacomo Brodolini Foundation, Notus, uh, Lipste Lulu, Solsice Latina, I hope I've pronounced it well, of our friend Dan Cristesi, ZZ Bodoblania from Poland. Central uh, Liberal of uh, GTP uh, Belgium and the Bulgarian Construction Chamber in Bulgaria and Yol EIS uh, for Turkey. And I'd like to greet the other foreign guests, the representatives of IIP and the representatives of the Fundación Laboral de la Construcción from Spain. At the beginning of 2016, CNC started its commitment on uh, in relation to this study on posting of workers through the Post Lab project for the development of administrative cooperation within the framework of the posting workers presented in collaboration with other partners from Spain, Romania, France, and Italy, which came to an end last December with the conference in Rome. Then afterwards, the European Commission confirmed its confidence in CNC and assigned it a second project, UPOSLA, which draws to its conclusion with today's conference. CNC acted as a lead organization in this European core, presenting the positive experience within the framework of international cooperation, but also in the uh, supervision of companies and the fact that they are working in accordance with rules and regulations. The project um, supports administrative uh, cooperation and the exchange of information at international level and uh, paves two way for the broadening of the exchange information. The methodology combines study, field analysis, and workshops in order to identify how administrative data and existing inspections can tackle the issue of infringements and avoidance of directives on posted workers and to establish a database prototype in order to share the necessary information for administrative cooperation. Desk research has given the partnership a basis of knowledge regarding the type and extent of available information at national level and existing transnational data banks, uh, regulations regarding minimum wages, and existing evidence of illusion. The web survey addressed to workers was aimed at understanding the wages and how they are perceived by workers in the construction sector, and qualitative interviews were aimed at instead at uh, suggesting how databases and inspections refer to the prevention and the fight against infringements and avoidance of directives on uh, the posting of workers. Furthermore, field research, was field research was carried out through a web survey which helped uh, compare re results, taking into account the different wage structure and the different working conditions in each country. Lastly, CNC studied a proposal to share basic information for the proper posting of workers. 
uh, making this an, more streamlined and simplified, thus assuring the free movement of enterprises and wor workers in the four EU countries that have already signed international bilateral agreements and aimed at the possible, its possible expansion to new organizations that are interested in sharing a system that has uh, been widely tested in 10 years of experience indeed in 2008. The national associations in the construction sector in order to overcome this, situa this situation in agreement with a counterpart European organizations have uh, set the following goals. Avoid social dumping through the pursuing workers from other countries. Protect construction workers by assuring homogeneous wages and homogeneous uh, regulations or rules in the same field, allowing enterprises to take part and to uh, carry out works within the EU without constraints or privileges of a local nature. Exchange information between organizations of uh, in the uh, countries concerned and obviously assure uh, equal uh, working conditions for postal workers and the fight uh, illegal employment, in particular, uh, oversee the proper application of insurance, social security, and contractual applications. And obviously, with a view of these goals, CNCE has initiated a discussions with counterpart organizations in France, Germany, and also in order to obviously uh, assure uh, shared regulations in case of the posting workers uh, over the past six years. The companies that are benefiting from these international agreements are on the rise. Uh, declared workers are increasing by over 40 percent per year. There are over 1,000 companies that post workers each year from Italy benefiting uh, from the international bilateral uh, agreement and CNC can certify that all these businesses are in line with the payments due. I would like to thank you for your attention. I'd like, like to leave the floor to my colleagues who will discuss and describe the work carried out in the course of this project. Thank you.